This video is intended for audiences over the age of 13. If you are not 13 years or older, please click away from this video now. You have been warned. Hey, what's going on you guys? It's your man James, aka JP, back again with the Toy Room and Happy belated Thanksgiving to all of you. I hope everybody had a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving, and I hope you guys had a very successful Black Friday because I know I did. Uh, so today we're gonna be taking a look at everything that I picked up for Black Friday. Uh, now, I don't think I went as crazy as I did last year, and that's mainly because I'm trying to save money and whatnot, but I still got pretty much everything that I wanted. Uh, I'm just looking at the pile here. I did leave uh, a couple things behind in the store that I saw that I did want, but I didn't necessarily like really, really need it was just more so that I wanted it so um, that's the only thing but yeah without further ado let's jump into my Black Friday haul for 2019 so I'm gonna get this out of the way first because this thing is just massive and if you guys saw my Black Friday deals video you guys will already be familiar with what the heck this is but it is this massive uh, Disney Christmas train set right here pretty pretty cool uh, so it's normally 80 bucks it was on sale for 40 and I also had a $7 off coupon for that. So after tax and everything, that thing only cost me like $35, which is an absolute steal for something like that. Uh, so that's awesome. I'm saving that for when I get my apartment, hopefully next year. So that is really, really cool. And then let me grab this over here. So I also uh, got the Samsung Galaxy S10 in this beautiful flamingo pink colorway, as you can see that right there. And I got free Galaxy Buds with it. Uh, the phone is normally $900, I want to say. It was uh, on sale for $500 plus the $130 Galaxy Buds uh, came for free with it. So that is one heck of a deal right there. So I traded in uh, or I sent my S9 back to Samsung as part of like the promotion or whatever. And then I got the S10 and you guys can see it's a very, very beautiful phone. And I have the Toy Story case on the back. So that is really, really cool. Absolutely love this phone. Like I said, it's beautiful. I'm gonna put that there so it doesn't slide out of my pocket and accidentally fall. Uh, then what else do we got? So I have this also kind of big box over here. Uh, I got this from Shop Disney, which if you guys are not familiar, it's just like, uh, Disney World's online website where you can buy stuff that's only available in the parks and stuff like that. So uh, I got these exclusive Funko Pops. This is the Matterhorn right here. So this is really, really cool. Uh, these were normally 40. I got them 10% off uh, with free shipping. So they were like 35 bucks, uh, but still looks pretty nice. So we got that one right there. And this was the one I was the most excited for, and that is the Skyliner, which it's just, this thing is massive. I was not expecting it to be as big as it is. You can see uh, the back side of it right there. And then on the back, there's a little bit of a glare, but you see that? And then you got Mickey on this side. It's got uh, working doors, I believe. I haven't actually opened it yet, but I believe the doors open. Uh, you got the Mickey Funko Pop in there in the Skyliner. So that's just really, really cool. So I got those right there as well. I actually picked that up like right before Black Friday, but I still wanted to include it in this video. So now, uh, we'll get into the Black Friday stuff. So this is everything that I got from Best Buy That was the first stop that I did make and um, I didn't get you know I didn't like I said I didn't go too crazy I got some movies some blu-rays or whatever uh, and some video games, but that was about it So I got Resident Evil 2 for $15 on the Xbox one I wanted to pick it up for the ps4 because it originally came out on the ps1 and it completely slipped my mind when I was in the store and I grabbed it for the Xbox one uh, but you can see that right there so $15 not too bad at all so we'll put that to the side I also got Spider-Man Far From Home on 4K I believe this was $12 uh, they had a lot of the other older MCU movies uh, on 4K and on Blu-ray for like I don't know 22 23 24 dollars which was a discount because they're normally like 30 35 but when you got something like this that's uh, only $12 for the 4K that's a no-brainer so I had to pick that up uh, then what else did I get? I got the Division 2 for the Xbox One. You can see that right there. So um, I was a fan of the Division 1. Uh, I, I like the concept of the game. There were some issues that I had with it and I never actually finished playing it. But I do have to go back and play that so then I can jump into this. This was only $15 as well. 
so not too bad there. Uh, I got the Karate Kid 35th Anniversary on 4K. Now, believe it or not, I've never actually seen the Karate Kid. I know all about the movie, I know the wax on, wax off, all that, but I've never actually sat down and saw the movie, so 4K, I think this was only like $7, so can't go wrong there. Uh, and definitely, like I said, need to watch this because I never watched it growing up for whatever reason. Then I got the Men in Black Trilogy on Blu-ray. Uh, I don't know how much this was. It might have been like 10 bucks or something like that. But Men in Black 1, 2, and 3 on Blu-ray. Classic movies. Again, can't go wrong there. Uh, what else did I got? Oh, I forgot that I picked this up. Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, this was 40 bucks. I was on the fence about it, but this never goes on sale, and 40 bucks is probably the cheapest you'll ever be able to find it for, so definitely had to pick that up. So, And I need more Switch games because I've played everything that I own already. Uh, also picked up Forza Horizon 4 for the Xbox One, which was $20, uh, so a great game. It's obviously older. I think this came out like, what, 2017 at this point? I'm trying to look for the date back here. Uh, 2018, so it, it is a little older, but it's still a great game, and I really want to play that LEGO DLC that they have for it, so I'm going to buy that as well. And then, I'm not entirely sure if I own this already. I have to check if I do, i got to return it. But that's uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse on 4K. This was also $12. Amazing, amazing movie. I love the art style and animation on this movie. Uh, but like I said, I think I may own this, so I have to double check and I'll return it if I do. But had to pick it up while I was there. So, that is everything from Best Buy. Now let's go ahead and jump into, uh, we'll jump into Walmart. I only got one thing from Walmart. Uh, and this was an incredible deal, especially since the game just came out. And that's Need for Speed Heat. It was only $30. Everywhere else was like $35, $40 for it. But it was $30 at Walmart. Really can't wait to get into this. This is probably the first game I'm going to be playing. Uh, just looks really, really good. And then getting into Target, I have two bags because I went to two different Targets. So I'll just do the first bag here. So the first bag, I have the Lego Batman movie. And this was uh, $5, I want to say, on Blu-ray. And then I also got the Lego Movie Part 2, which was only $4 on Blu-ray. So basically nothing. I mean, $5 and $4 for these movies. Great, great movies right here. I haven't seen these. I've seen the first Lego movie, and that was phenomenal. But I've heard great things about these two. So again, $4 and $5 respectively. And then I also came across the latest Mario Kart wave of uh, Hot Wheels. So I... I would love to review these. You guys know I reviewed the first wave, but with the whole YouTube thing going on, I don't know. It's kind of, you know, treading waters right there. But uh, so I have Toad right here. So consider this my little uh, review. So you can see Toad right there. And then on the back, you can see that. So I got Toad. Uh, I got the Koopa Troopa right there. You guys can see that looking very nice. And on the back, that's what you got. Uh, and then I got the light blue Yoshi looking awesome and then on the back and then the last one I found was Wario as you guys can see so really really awesome figures I think that was everyone from the new wave there I feel like I'm missing one but just looking at the back I don't believe I am so those are the latest Hot Wheels uh, Mario Kart Hot Wheels and then this is going to be the last thing right here. So this was the last and final thing. And uh, this was just another Target. Uh, and I got Elf on Blu-ray. Classic, classic movie. This was only $7, so can't go wrong there. Uh, and then the last and final thing, which this was, in, this was an incredible value right here. And actually, no pun intended now as I look at it. But that's Incredibles 2 on 4K. But this is the Target exclusive, which comes with all this bonus content. As you guys can see there, it comes with the limited edition art book, uh, just a whole bunch of stuff. So Incredibles 2, 4K, uh, yeah, 15 bucks, can't go wrong there at all. Uh, and um, yeah, that is, that's it. That is everything that I picked up for Black Friday. Now there was a couple stuff that I picked up in the stores that I was going to get, but I decided not to, to save money. I didn't necessarily need it, but uh, they had the whole X-Men collection of movies. So the original X-Men trilogy and then all the new movies. 
for 40 bucks I think it was and it was normally 60 so that's a great deal there um, I had it in my cart but I just I decided to put it back because you know I've already spent enough money this was quite a bit of money uh, and uh, what else did I have in my cart uh, I can't remember I'm sure I had a couple other games uh, Medieval for the PS4 I was gonna pick that up for $20 but decided to leave that as well maybe I'll pick it up somewhere down the line but you know I just I just had a budget myself you know so uh, but yeah that is it you guys don't care about my money saving habits but that is it that is everything that I picked up for Black Friday this year uh, I think I got significantly less than last year I want to say if I can remember correctly I believe that I got less than last year uh, but let me know down below what you guys picked up for Black Friday if you were successful in picking up everything you wanted uh, as far as arcade one up the only arcades that I ran into was the Ninja Turtles cabinet at Walmart and the final fight ones I didn't run into Galaga um, I didn't run into Mortal Kombat uh, I'm trying to think of the other ones I uh, I did run into one Marvel superheroes at Target and I think that was it so either they were selling out or they just didn't have enough stock to keep in store or whatever but I didn't really run into much uh, arcade one-up cabinets for this Black Friday unfortunately but uh, yeah let me know down below what you guys picked up for Black Friday and that's pretty much it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe share this video with your friends be sure to follow me on Instagram that links in the description down below and I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here so as always guys stay tuned for more and I'll see you guys next time